Hey peeps! So I wanted to do this quick video. I'm going to try to do it with this little one sitting here. Hopefully she'll be nice. So welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kay. Um, so I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. So when I created this channel, it was supposed to be just like a vlog channel. Um, I think when I started, I was selling Avon and then I stopped selling Avon and I opened up my Etsy shop and I was kind of doing like a week in the life of an Etsy shop owner, but I kind of got bored of myself and I kind of felt like my day was repetitive. So, um, when this whole thing with the FCC went down, I wasn't sure, you know, I had stopped vlogging and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this channel, but I do have some great memories on this channel with my bestie. And so I wanted to keep those videos up. So I closed or hid my channel, I guess that's what they call it. So when I did that, I lost everything. I lost all my subscribers and I lost all the comments, obviously, that I had previously. I did set a lot of my um, videos that I had in the past to um, private, so because they don't really pertain to my life anymore, and just because of the whole FCC thing, I wasn't really sure, you know, what was going to happen with that. So I kept up the videos that I thought um, was still relevant to my life now, and those of me and my bestie because I wanted to keep those. So. Um, for those of you who don't know me, like I said, my name is Kay. I live in New York City. This is my baby, Brooklyn. She does not like the camera. She probably doesn't even realize that I'm on it. She's probably wondering who the heck I'm talking to. But this is my baby, Brooklyn. She is a pit bull and miniature Doberman mix. Um, she is seven months old today, actually. So happy birthday, Boo-Boo. Um, I call her Boo-Boo. Don't ask me why I don't know. So I am 48, going to be 49 in June. I have one grown son who will be 27 next month. Oh my God, I can't even believe that. <laughs> I live in public housing. Um, I think I still have the video of a little bit of my backstory. It's a little bit of my backstory. Um, and I'll try to link it down below in case you're curious. I don't want this video to be way too long. I just kind of want it to be a... Uh, introduction of what I am planning for this channel. Um, I don't have fancy camera equipment. I use an old cell phone to record. Not only um, will I be using it to record these videos, I use it to record my videos on my other channel, which is my creative channel. Um, and if you're interested in that, that will always be linked down below as well. Um, so I said, I think I said, I mean, I live in New York City. I've lived here all my life pretty much, except for maybe a couple of years when I was little. I lived in North Carolina. Um, but I was born and raised in Brooklyn, which is why her name is Brooklyn. And she was born in Brooklyn. Um, I love Brooklyn, <laughs> but I live in Queens right now, currently. Um, I live in public housing. And, um... What I do for a living is I run my Etsy shop and I also take care of kids part-time. So with that said, um, like I said, I, I'm very budget <laughs> conscious. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I don't, like I said, I don't have fancy camera equipment and all that. So if you're looking for that type of channel where you, know, you have beautiful lighting and those shadows and all that this is probably not the channel for you. I also am not one to wear like a bunch of makeup. I rarely wear makeup at all. My hair is not always, you know, the best. Right now it's a little frizzy because I need to redo it. I am natural. I've been natural for over a decade now. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much my backstory. So let me tell you why I decided to... I guess reinvent, reinvent my channel. Um, so I've always been um, fat my whole life. I don't mind the word fat. The word fat doesn't bother me, just like the word short doesn't bother me. I am short and I am fat. And it's okay, it's just an adjective. I am black. You know, to me, I know it does offend some people, but it doesn't offend me. It took me a long time to get to that place. 
um, once I, you know, embraced my body and loved my body as it is. So I, I've been heavy all my life. Um, and I, you know, up until I guess maybe my mid twenties, um, I started becoming a little bit more confident and embracing and all that. Um, but previously, I was very insecure, even though at that time I was not as heavy. I was what they call thick, um, and in all the right in all the right places. Um, it wasn't until I had my son that um, I had I was you know really big. Obviously, I gained a lot of weight during my pregnancy, and I never lost it. <laughs> so, anyway. So I never had any health issues, so I never had a problem with my weight at all. I wasn't one of those people who would walk up a flight of steps and be out of breath. So um, my weight never bothered me. Um, up until um, recently when I went to the doctor for a physical, um, my blood pressure was high, which I never had blood pressure. Well, I did a while ago, but it was stress related. And um, once I got my stress level under control, my blood pressure went back down to normal. So um, I never had to be on any medication before. But recently, um, my blood pressure has been high. So my doctor, who is fabulous, I absolutely love her. Um, she was like, we have to get this blood pressure under control. I don't want to put you on medication. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of months to see if you can lower it. And um, then we'll take it from there. Unfortunately, <laughs> one, you know, she gave me the whole run through, the whole uh, blood work. She just wanted to test everything. Um, so blood pressure was high, and I was pre-diabetic, which scared the crap out of me. Never had any any of these issues before. So I was like, okay. So I talked to my doctor. She was like, I want you to consider lowering your carbs do a low, she was like, I suggest, um, which is what I'm on, which she's on, because she recently had a baby and she was trying to lose the baby weight. She was on a low carb, high fat diet. She did not name the diet, she just said low carb, high fat diet. High fat meaning good fats, avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, that type of stuff. So she, we had this long conversation about, you know, she educated me on what uh, high fats really need good fats um, and so you know with all the information she gave me I went home I researched um, and I kept running the course keto I was like I heard this before but I never paid it any attention so I looked into it and I read about it and I was like okay it's low carb it's high fat let's see if this is something that um, would be work for my body and my doctor will approve of. Now, I am under a doctor's care, so um, I take her advice because she knows what she's talking about. She's wonderful. And so I actually started, um, let me just tell you, my weight when her and I had that conversation was 283 pounds, okay? So, um... Initially, I was supposed to go back to see her on January 27th, but I had to pick up. The time that they gave me wasn't a good time for me, so I had to reschedule. So February 4th, this February 4th, um, I went for my update checkup. Um, my blood pressure was still high, but it did come down a great deal. Um, so I told her that I was doing the keto diet, and she was like, yes. Yes, keto is wonderful. She was like, you know, yes, keep that up, keep that up. And my weight was um, 266. So I had lost 17 pounds in less than a month because I, I started keto officially on January 9th. And um, by J February 4th, I had lost 17 pounds, which I was amazed because I don't weigh myself. I don't own a scale because years ago I became obsessed with the scale. <laughs> so I don't weigh myself. Um, so yeah, I was shocked. I thought maybe I lost maybe like 10, 12 pounds. I could tell by the way my clothes was fitting, the way my body looked. I figured, you know, it's just a bunch of water weight, which, you know, 
17 pounds is probably the same. But still, 17 pounds is 17 pounds. So we were both like, wow, that's amazing that I lost so much so fast. So with that said, the reason why I wanted to do this video, um, I know there's a lot of people who do keto. I follow probably all of them, if not, well, probably not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, and I, at first I was like, what in the world do I have to offer to people? Everybody is doing keto videos. So what I thought that I could possibly offer, and I could be totally wrong, there, pro there probably are women like me on keto who do videos, I just haven't found any. Um, and if you do know some, put, put their names down to, in the comment section because I would love to follow them. But like I said, I am 48, I'm a black woman, <laughs> um, and I am low income. So I think those three things I can offer because a lot of people think that you have to have a lot of money to um, do the keto lifestyle. And I like to say keto lifestyle and not diet because I hate the word diet. And for me, this will be my lifestyle. This, is, will, this will be how I will eat from now on because my body responds to it well. Clearly, my health is um, benefiting from it. So... Um, it's working, it's working for me. So, um, yeah, so I figure, you know, I'll see what happens, see if anybody is interested in, you know, how I do keto because everybody does keto the way it works for them. Um, and I'm doing it the way it works for me and my bank account. <laughs> so, and for my body. So I don't buy a lot of a ton of, I buy a few things that are organic and grass-fed and all that, but not everything because I can't afford that. Um, I would love to, but like I said, can't afford it. So I do what I can afford. I didn't go out and buy everything that everybody else is using. Um, I bought what I thought would benefit me. And then, you know, as I learn more, if I feel like I need, you know, to get something else then I'll purchase it but um, I think that's pretty much it so I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm doing stuff wrong or that I should be doing this or I should be doing that because I got this <laughs> I got this and no I don't know everything and I'm not a doctor but I am under a doctor's care and um, I'm going to do keto the way I be fit. So you could do keto if that's what you're doing the way you want to do it. I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it. So I don't mean to sound like, you know, a bitch or anything, but that's, that's just me. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, um, next month because next month I'll have a better update. Next month I have, um, uh, my follow-up doctor's appointment on March 10th, I believe it is. So at that time, I will have be weighed and um, I will have blood work. Now, I may not have my blood work done. Well, I'm going to have my blood work done, but I won't have the results probably for a few days. And I can look it up online so I can tell whether or not um, my um, my glucose, my glucose, blah, glucose levels have dropped. Um, I am checking my blood pressure, which is, um, I don't check it as much as I should be checking it. I have a monitor, which is right here. It's one of the cuff ones. I would show you, but I would have to move and she's being really good right now. So I'm just going to, I'll show you in another video if you're interested in seeing what I use, but I just have the little cuff one. And um, so I've been checking it and it's Really, it's been good. It's been good. What I have to learn to do though is just give myself a minute and sit down and relax because I think my readings are a little bit higher than they would be if I would just keep still for a minute. So I'm trying, I'm working on it. So I think that's it for now. I don't want this video to be super, super long. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. It's just me and the pop living our best life we're trying to <laughs> here in the NYC and we hope that you will come and 
join us for this um, this health journey. Um, you know, the whole weight loss thing is a bonus, um, but it's my health that I'm more concerned about. So that I'm going to really be focusing on that. Also, I am premenopausal, so we'll be talking about that as well. Um, you know, all my symptoms and if you guys are struggling with that, I would love to hear um, if you have any um, suggestions about what to do about, I mean, I'm dealing with it, the hot flashes and the night sweats, I'm dealing with it the best way I can. But if you have any um, advice, I'm not taking anybody's medication, so I hate medication whatsoever. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to say, I am on a low dose of blood pressure medication because my doctor wanted to just as a precaution because she was like, I don't want you to have a stroke. So we're going to put you in this very low dose of medication and then um, she said, but if you keep doing keto the way you're doing it, then you're going to be off in no time. So um, she just put, you know, wanted to put me on that for, um, for the time being. And I think that is it. Oh, as far as working out. I don't really work out, guys. I hate working out. But I do walk a lot. I mean, I live in New York City. We pretty much walk everywhere. And I walk this little one when it's not too, too cold. And I did find a little workout walking video um, on YouTube that I, um, I've i been doing every now and then. Um, probably, I won't say I've been doing it re religiously three times a week. I've been trying to. But... Um, if I find that I'm doing a lot of walking that day, I don't do it because it's kind of boring <laughs> to be honest. And I knew I was going to get bored with it after a while. Oh, another reason, um, I know I'm, I'm rambling and I'm all over the place, but that's me and I'm sorry. But I also wanted to tell you that I also have a back injury, which is another reason why I can't, um, do any workouts. Not that I would anyway, <laughs> let's just be honest. I can't go to the gym. I'm really afraid to mess up my back. I had an injury back in 2007, and um, I went to whole physical therapy and all that kind of stuff. I was diagnosed with a pinched nerve without any type of MRI by my doctor. Not this doctor I have now, another doctor. Um, but this doctor, I had a, a flare-up a few months ago. I was in a lot, of, a lot of pain, like really, really bad pain. And, um, I was just like, I don't know what, you know, I walked into her office and she was just like, what is going on with you? I was like, I don't know what's going on with my back. She was like, yeah, you need to go for an MRI. Well, she sent me for an x-ray first just to make sure. And because, you know, the whole insurance thing. And of course that was fine. So when I went for the MRI, uh, basically, I don't remember exactly, but I know, my L4 all the way down to my S1, this bulging disc and some narrowing somewhere. <laughs> Basically, I'm laughing, but it's not funny, but I'm laughing because, I don't know, I'm crazy. My Basically, my whole lower back on my right side is jacked up. Um, I do have to consult with a neurosurgeon. I do not want to have surgery. That is, will be my last resort. Um, because look, <laughs> I don't have anybody, to, well, I do have people to take care of me, but I don't want to be taken care of. I don't want to have to be laid up anywhere, but I am going to talk with the neurosurgeon just so I can hear what they have to say. As soon as I actually get on the phone with them, I have to make an appointment, but his window of time where I can call is so small. It's one day and it's like, I have a four hour window. So it's like ridiculous trying to get in touch with him or his his secretary. I don't know, but it's it's a mess. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Like I said, if you have any questions, um, get used to the rambling. That's me. <laughs> if that if it bothers you, I apologize. But that's just me, and I can't be anybody else but me. So I guess that's it for now. If you have any questions. Um, feel free to ask me down below. I hope you will stick around. Um, Brooklyn and I would love to get to know you better. And to those of you from my creative channel, Art in the City Creations, hey! 
peeps. I hope you'll stick around and I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be, um, okay. I'm, what I may do is, no, I'll wait, I'll wait and do a like grocery haul for, I guess my first official video, I guess. Um, I already did my grocery shopping for the month, <laughs> so I have to wait till next month. But I may, if I think of something else, um, I might do, uh, oh, I might do a meal prep video because I am meal prepping this week. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, you guys. That's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. All right. I'll talk to you later. Until next time, have a great one. Bye.